Flooding occurs when the amount of water in the river, known as the discharge, exceeds the capacity of the river channel and overflows, inundating areas that are not normally underwater. Before we look at why this happens, there are a few key terms. Runoff is when water runs along the surface, which is faster, whereas groundwater is when water runs through the ground, which is slower. Interception is when leaves catch water. Infiltration is when water soaks into the soils. And if something is permeable, it means water can't flow through it. So what causes flooding? There are several physical and human factors that can cause flooding. First, the physical factors. It's no surprise that rainfall causes flooding, but this varies based on the intensity and duration. Long, prolonged rainfall causes rivers to slowly rise and eventually burst their banks, whereas short bursts of heavy rainfall can cause flash floods where rivers quickly rise and burst their banks. Melting snow can also lead to a large amount of water entering the river. Steep relief increases the likelihood of runoff, meaning water will run into the river more quickly. If the local geology is impermeable rocks, more runoff occurs. The amount of vegetation determines how much interception happens. If there is less vegetation, less interception occurs, meaning there is more surface runoff. This links directly into the human factors, as deforestation of course means there is less vegetation and therefore more surface runoff. Urbanisation is another human cause of flooding. Tarmac and concrete are impermeable surfaces, meaning more runoff occurs. Drains and sewers also provide faster routes into rivers. And if farmers plough vertically on steep slopes, water can run more quickly down the plough lines.